If you're choosing a different color of your quilt, you're going to have to match some of the different elements in the quilt with whatever color you're going to be stitching. For example, your embroidery threads. There are three different embroidery threads that make the entire quilt, only three shades. Whatever color you choose, you need a dark, a medium, and a light. So you don't have to pick a whole, whole lot of thread colors. Just whatever color you're doing, remember that you need a dark, a medium, and a light. These are the original latte colors. I recommend polyester um, isocord thread. That is the one I like the most. It runs through the machine smoothly. It does not break as easily as rayon because polyester is a little bit stronger. I pers personally really, um, really like to use that best and recommend that, but you can use whatever color of uh, brand of thread you prefer to use. Also, we will be using silk ribbon. Um, this is the cream silk ribbon, ribbon, but for whatever color, you're going to be wanting to use silk ribbon in the color theme that you're doing, as well as the seed beads. These are the cream seed beads, and whatever color you're go going to be doing, you want to get your seed beads in that color. So whatever color you're doing, stick with your same threads, ribbon, seed beads, and you're going to have a winning combination. To kind of help you with colors and selecting your fabrics, there's three sheets that you can print off, download and print off, that are posted on my website. And one of them is the Latte Quilt Fabrics. What this has is a list of the fabrics that are used in the quilt, and it gives you how many yards you need of each piece. So that's going to help you as you go shopping for fabric. Also, what's listed on here at the bottom of the page are quilt sizes. And the queen quilt size is 96 and a half inches square. A king quilt size is 104, about 104 inches square. Now that can vary depending on how big you make your borders. If you need it larger or smaller, we can always vary the size of the borders. All the blocks, the center medallion is the same, no matter if you're doing a queen or a king. When we get to the border part, that's when you'll be really measuring your bed and deciding for sure what size you need your quilt to be. And then we'll approximate um, your borders and what you need. If you're going to need borders that are really, really wide, you're making more of a bedspread than an actual comforter quilt, you're going to need a little bit more fabric because that's not what the original quilt is done. But you can do that. So this one gives you a list of your lots of quilt fabrics and what you need. Backing, you can wait on backing if you want to. Backing is something you can decide on later on down the road. Also what you have is a latte quilt fabric swatch sheet. And what this is, is a little chart that you can take with you as you're shopping. And when you get home, you need to take a little swatch from each of the fabrics that you got and tape them onto this page underneath the fabric description that it goes to. And the reason for that is, as we're going along in the class, I'm going to say, I need you to take fabric B or fabric A or fabric C and do such and such with it. If you refer back to this sheet, you have a little swatch and you know exactly what fabric I'm talking about that you are using for your quilt. The third sheet I want to show you is the Latte Quilt Fabric, and this is an illustrated quilt, uh, illustrated version of the quilt. What is listed on here is it shows all the blocks and it shows you what fabric is used where. For example, this very center medallion is used fabric A. Look back on your fabric sheet and fabric A is the muslin or your cotton fairy frost fabric. So you know what it's used for. This just gives you a little diagram to kind of help you um, tell you where the pieces of the quilt are. Also, on some of these, it says in parentheses, RS, which means right side of the fabric, or WS, which means wrong side of the fabric. So that also gives you a guideline for whether you're using the right side or the wrong side of the fabric in that particular area of the quilt. I would like you to download and print all these. Keep them in a binder. You'll have them handy because you will need them. One of the other helpful things that is online is you can download a supply list. And this gives you all of the supplies that you need to make the quilt. Your threads, your ribbon, um, your fabrics are listed on another sheet, but your feet, your needles, and um, stabilizer, spray adhesive, all of that is listed on the sheet. So I would advise you to print that off and see what you have, see what you need. 
There are kits available online if you don't want to go through and purchase each thing individually. You can purchase a thread kit or a supply kit as well as fabric kits online that just make it a little bit easier for you in shopping for your supplies and fabrics. How are we going to complete this quilt? Well, online there is a quilt schedule that you can download. This quilt takes about a year to complete, 12 months. Every month we are going to work on two blocks or a part of the quilt or section of the quilt. So if you can go online and print out the schedule, this is not a set in stone schedule. Pretty much I'm going to be following this. There may be times that you will be able to get ahead. There may be times that you may be a little bit behind. It's okay. You're still going to have all the directions. You can work at your own pace and still have everything you need. So you can look at the schedule there that I posted online. We'll pretty much follow that. What you will receive every month are written handout directions telling you step by step how to complete, complete each aspect of the block or part of the quilt that we're stitching. You will need to refer back to your latte quilt book. But my instructions are pretty complete, so it gives you detailed steps of how to complete each step. Also, there will be illustrations showing you what to do. If needed, I will upload quilt photos, sections of photos of different techniques, different things that make it helpful for you to see actually how to complete that step. As well as all that information, you're going to receive a video just like what you're watching now that you can download and watch on your computer screen. The online video will show you exactly how to do that part, that block, that part of the quilt. It'll take you from cutting the fabric, we're going to talk about how to cut the fabric, what's the best way to do that, to do, hooping the embroidery designs, stitching the decorative stitches, rinsing out the block and completing that part of the quilt. So your video is going to have everything you need to actually see how to do the techniques as well as you'll have written instructions with thread charts that will give you um, an idea of written way how to complete the quilt. So with all that information there is no way you cannot complete this quilt. In addition to that I will have set up online an area where we will basically have an online crop classroom and you'll be able to chat with each other, you'll be able to upload photos of different parts of the quilt that you're stitching and share them with others. That's always fun, especially if you're doing different colors. It's always fun to see the color combina combinations that everyone has come up with. So there will be an online classroom that will be set up that you can go to and visit with others who are taking the class as well as you'll be able to email me with questions uh, any comments you have, anything like that, feel free to email me. Usually I can get back to you within about 24 hours most of, most of the time. So e you'll be able to email me with questions. You'll have an online classroom as well as lots of instruction every month to complete each aspect of the quilt. In addition to everything else I just described, you will also be able to receive a 15% class discount on any supplies, anything that you anything that you order during our class period time. That alone is well worth the cost of the monthly class fees. I hope that you decide to join me in this online class adventure. It's so much fun to stitch this quilt and it's so much fun to stitch it together. If you go to my class schedule schedule page, you will see lots of these files that you can download. There's um, an online class detail email that you can download and print off and that gives you full details as to information about the quilt as well as supply lists, fabric, um, description charts, everything else that you need as well as links to where you can purchase the, quilts on, the kit, quilt kits online as well. So any, inf any other questions please email me and I hope that you decide to join me in this quilting adventure. I look forward to visiting with you every month to complete this fun and unique quilt. I'll see you then.